Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool male OSINT tool which is named as MoSINT. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn, the links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of this community, you can check out my Discord server, the link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous video, we covered some few uh, a cool OSINT tool and this video is also going to be based on OSINT, so which is like male OSINT. So there is a cool tool which uh, named as MoSINT. So it is like uh, uh, like a, the abbreviation of MoSINT is like male OSINT. So what we need to do is like this tool takes any email address that you find. Okay, and uh, it tries to run some scans on some various domains and it tries to give you some uh, information. So this particular tool is really, really helpful in the process of bug bounty. So let us assume that you are trying to pen test on some application or web application or on some company. You can try to find out some email addresses and you can try to do some enumeration on that. Okay, so this is kind of a bit kind of enumeration. So if you have a doubt like how can I find okay uh, how can i find these email addresses so i'll be linking out a video uh, which is based on a tool called as uh, the harvester okay you can do check them out from there but uh, for some easiness i'll be also linking out these two applications so you can do check them out so the first one is hunter.io so this is one of the quite popular thing so what you can do is tesla tesla.com so like let us assume that you are trying to hunt on Tesla or uh, Microsoft or anything like that. Okay. Uh, Microsoft.com. Okay. So it, it, it will try to find the email addresses that are based on this domain. So you can see there is some common pattern like last name, first name, at rate Microsoft.com. It found out some few uh, Microsoft uh, uh, um, uh, email. So in the sense, what, what are these is like, so these are the mail addresses of the uh, employees in that company. Okay. So you can do check them out. So what you need to, in order to uh, unhide this, you can simply sign in or sign up. You don't require any uh, payment or anything like that. You can simply sign in and you can view all this stuff. And there is also one more cool application, which is phonebook.cz. Uh, so this is a quite popular thing. So. So you can simply uh, provide the domain. So domain is what it requires. And once you click on submit. So here you can see some domain uh, uh, your, uh, addresses or URLs like that. You can see it took if it took small amount of time, but the difference between this particular hunter.io or phonebook.cz is like for hunter.io, you need to provide some stuff like this uh, email, like in order to sign in, you need to provide your email address. So like if you are too much into this privacy stuff, you can do check out this thing. So you can see, you can try to find out the domains, email addresses, URLs. Okay. If we found out few uh, mail addresses, you can do check them out. Okay. So like, as I told you, this is the way how you can find out the email addresses. Like this is not only the way, this is like a small way, but there are thousands of ways. Like you can check in the breached account details. Okay. You can find out some other applications like phonebook.cz or hunter.io. Okay. And you can do the stuff. So, so that is the thing. So that is how you gather the email and now we'll be going into our tool. So we'll be going into this particular motion. So I'll, I leave the link for all these tools, uh, all these tools and also for this motion in the description below, you can do check out from there. So this is a cool tool. Uh, you can see it is also very easy to use. Okay. Uh, you can see it is based on OSINT tool for emails. So it checks for email validation. Like let us assume that you find some email or she need to validate that email, right? Like there is a possibility. It can be a fake one as well. Like it tries to do some, uh, like once it checked the email, then it tries to go to, uh, find out the details regarding the domain. Okay. So let us assume that you are hunting on microsoft.com and you got uh, some uh, email address. Right. So it checks uh, regarding this email address and then it checks on this particular uh, related to domain stuff. Okay. So let us install this stuff. It is really easy. So first of all, copy this URL. So I will be using Kali Linux and feel free to use any Linux distribution or any operating system which can run Go. Okay. So you need to have Go language. So Go is also a language like Python, C, Java like that. Okay. 
so before uh, as we copied the url already so the first and the foremost thing that you need to do is you need to have go language so install uh, installation is pretty simple apt install uh, golang okay since i am root i am not using sudo but if you are not a root user you can always opt for sudo once you hit enter it will take a bit of time and this file size of this golang like it downloads like 500 mb of archives i think so so it takes a bit of time but once it is done you are good to go so once it is done so once you have the golang installed so so what you can do is like uh, you can simply clone that stuff so git clone and paste the url okay of that particular repository and simply hit enter uh it takes a bit of time no need to worry okay so as i told you earlier you'll find all these in the description below you can do check out from there and also guys there you might find like let us assume that you are hunting on some uh in real time then you might find uh something like some apis really helpful for you okay you can do add them out they are really easy as well you can see you can add your api key in the keys.json so it is really easy okay if you have any api keys then you can relate it to this then you can good you are good to go so guys in the meantime you can see the repository is cloned so let us dive into this directory so if you do a quick ls you can find out some few stuff here so you can see mostly it is based on a go okay and there is something called keys dot uh, keys .json, so where you can add your api keys if you want to and there is something called as requirements.txt and one thing that i forgot to mention is you also require python 3 in order to run this particular tool okay so it is really simple apt install python 3 you python 3 hyphen pip and you are done so before that you need to install all the requirements so it is really simple so pip 3 uh, install hyphen r and requirements.txt and it takes a small a bit of time and then it tries to download all the stuff okay so now if you can see so you you have here a uh, main dot go here so it is like if you are familiar with coding so it is based on you can uh, you can find out that it is based on go so in order to run any go language script or anything like that it is really simple so you need to simply mention go and run and then you need to specify the file name okay and then uh, let me hit let me go for an, a default option hyphen hyphen hand okay so for the first time guys uh, like i already used this tool for a while and for the first time for the first time you are running this thing it tries it will download some other go language uh, go language based tools so it will take a bit of time a small bit of time and then you will be good to go okay so you can see here you have some features uh, so there is hyphen d like more information about the so the important option is here e hyphen e so this option takes the email as an input and all these are some other options so you can see it checks in the email repo.io like it goes for help it find it tries to find some password leaks or anything like that but uh, the uh, ninja technique here is like you can use an option hyphen all so all these options get sent okay so that is the thing so even though it takes a bit of time it is always a best way to go to this hyphen all option okay guys for the demonstration purpose i'll be not targeting this tool on any uh, real human uh, emails so i'll be going with a simple email so, like every domain has that particular thing which is support at the rate and domain Okay, so i'll be showcasing that this uh that okay I'd, I'd not like to harm or i don't want to show any details of that person who is bearing that email so support is like every application has that it is like a general or a public thing okay so we'll run this tool once again go run main.go hyphen e so support at the rate a micro of dot com and i'll run all these options so you can see it is first of all verifying the email address and then it is also checking what all these uh what are all the social media accounts that this particular email is used for okay like you can see there is some official pages regarding a uh, microsoft support or anything like that you can find out those you can also see the related emails so domains at the rate microsoft.com like it is trying to find out which is uh, related emails as well so from the google search these are some few google results also okay like support.microsoft.com anything like that 
and as i told you it also requires some few uh, api keys you can always do that not an issue you can simply go to that uh, i'll show you once again so let us assume that uh, if you want to get this particular uh, hunter.io so what you can do is you can simply sign in and you will find an api key here you can simply mention there and you will get your things done okay so that is what you can do and also you can see some few uh, uh, paste bin dumps as well which contain this particular support uh, microsoft.com okay and also guys as i told you this not only does the investigation on the email but it also does the investigation on the domain so you can see we found out some few ip addresses and uh, some uh, records as well some dns record stuff so uh, mx nx all these are uh, paste for dns records and also some few ip api info like uh, where it is located like information regarding the ip address and few subdomains as well so that is the reason why i covered this too like you can get your osim done as well as your bug bounty a bit a small bit of bug bounty done okay like a uh, recon part gets done so you can see we found out some few domains from the microsoft.com and like as we all know that microsoft contains some a ton of those domains subdomains so we got so it took like only 10 seconds like we ran all these options so it even though it took only 10 seconds so that is it guys regarding this tool like uh, if you want for better experience you can add those api keys and you will get some like more details as well okay like it checks in the de uh, leaked databases and stuff and everything like that some of them require a, a membership some of them doesn't so you can do check them out okay so that is it guys for today's video i hope you'll find this video helpful and if you really find this video helpful make sure you like it and do share this video with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you